Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Mega Modded. I don't even know why I changed the intro there. That was weird, but I did it and it's done. So let's jump right in. And we're playing Tin Ejerb. Tin Ejerb is always some good fun. So happy to have him on our side. Let's see what we can get. Of course, he's a bit risky because of Deus Custodia. Oh, Mum's race is actually genuinely very good now. So I'm a little sad to be uh, taking this, but I am going to um, straight away grab that. Uh, unfortunately, grabbing it that way didn't transform my hearts into soul hearts, which honestly might not be a, a terrible thing, not having uh, not having our hearts convert to soul hearts might not be a terrible thing, but that is great because now we get three free hits of floor. Just remember, it does not apply to this floor at all. So yeah, uh, also, did I for some reason think that Mum's Razor disappeared? Because I don't think it did, did it? Um, no, it didn't. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. But there you go. Uh, question of the day. I've got a really simple one in mind. Um, just because I'm, I, I've sort of been playing with one recently. Do any of you, like, have any, like, sort of fiddle toys? Like, like, I know that fucking fidget spinners get mean, but, like, you can get, like, fidget cubes and that sort of stuff. Um, like, is, is there any sort of thing that, that, like, you're always doing to, to, to like, keep active. I know a lot of people, like, shake their knee. I do that a lot. Is there, like, one thing for you guys that you have that you always, like, seem to play around with? Like, your zipper on your coat or anything like that. I always find that interesting to see what people sort of, like, thing that they do while they're waiting around is. Uh, we've got a Don Mick here that has absolutely shat on me. Uh, that is muy bien very depressing. I kind of hope we get to keep Mum's Razor here, because Mum's Razor is genuinely very good now. Um, especially on, on bosses that move around a lot. So I'm kind of hopeful that we can maybe keep it around. I don't know how likely that is. Oh, God. This is a real bad room. Oh, actually, actually, actually. Get him bled. He's just going to kill himself. There you go. <laughs> you see? Mum's Razor's actually got it going on now. Essentially... Uh, once you bleed an enemy, the faster they move, the more damage they take. So a lot of bosses, uh, give me the bombs after, why don't you? A lot of the, uh, a lot of the bosses and stuff end up being quite, quite good for taking quite a lot of damage. Bleed has become a, a, a very useful effect, and as you can see, it leaves a blood trail too, which makes it even more useful. Of course, Little Horn here isn't as prone to killing himself anymore, which is, uh... Both good and bad. It was always funny to kill him, uh, make him kill himself. But, oh my god. I'm trying to bleed him as much as possible. I think there's a limit on bosses on how much you can bleed them, as you can see. But yeah, uh, it's not going to be as valuable to push bombs into this guy. I will try when I can, though. There you go. Him teleporting just killed him. Um, and then both of these we can just take. We don't need to... Um, Use Deus Custodia or any of them. Any of them. By the way, for any of you that don't know how this character works, essentially, we get double the items, but some items from each floor will be taken away from us at the start of the next floor, as you will see here. But anything we use Deus Custodia on, like the two boss items just got completely uh, removed from us there. But the, the uh, any item you use Deus Custodia on will instead give you a broken heart. Ow. Um, but also... Need to be careful with this, dude. Yeah, it'll give you a broken heart. This this is a very annoying enemy. Can you please stop? Um, give you a broken heart, but that item can then never be removed from you. So it's very, very useful. Uh, also, just being able to survive these hits is also very, very useful. Um, okay, this is this is pretty decent. I'm not going to Deus Custody either of these, but getting the plus one burn heart on pickup is pretty good. Tech L is always, or, or whatever this, the, the name of this is, I think it's Tech L, is always an interesting item. It's it's not particularly amazing, but it can be. Like, it generally doesn't end up, like, making my run a ton better, but it can if you, uh, if you get the right combinations of things. But yeah, for example, enemies like this are going to be very heavily, not this, not this dude, don't bomb me, but this dude... He's going to speed up and then just kill himself. It's it's fantastic. It's a really, really good rework to bleed um, because it it means that it has power, but it's relative. It's not 
always a flat, this is going to be great or this is terrible. It's now, on certain enemies, it's actually very good. On other enemies, it's relatively useless. It depends on the enemy. But, of course, a lot of enemies in this game tend to move reasonably fast. Of course, with Tech L, the, one of the best things is that we get um, high shot speed and piercing. That's the, the main thing, really. Oh, we actually managed to get ourselves an Immortal Heart as well, which is rather nice. Again, these two we're just going to take. Um, oh, we did get a Polyon's best friend here. And we got a Cell Heart there. Uh, well, we'll check in here and see if there's anything we want to do as Custodia. Ooh, baby. Do you know what that's worth? Um, I don't actually know how Damocles works with this, I'll be honest. Because, obviously, once we've popped it, it's above our heads. So I think we're fine to just carry on. Um, I think this will kill us because I don't think the Immortal Hearts actually count. I don't know. Will this kill us? I feel like I should gamble. But also, like, if it does, I'm going to be really depressed. Um... <laughs> Because, like, we've only got two hearts, but we also have an immortal heart. But does the immortal heart count as a real heart that we can trade away? Or doesn't it? I think it does. And in that case, I really think we should take this. But then again, do you know what? No, I won't. We've already got piercing. Uh, yeah, I don't know how uh, how it's going to take Damocles away from us. I don't think it can because it's above our head now. Of course, we now have the impending doom of the, of the, um, the knife above our head. But now we're going to get four items. So... <laughs> Ooh, that's a, that's a room that's worth a lot to us. Potentially. It was not. Speed up's good. It didn't take Tech L from us, though, so I'm pretty happy about that. No, 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 not not again. again. I'm risking it and taking the pills while we're in the room here, which I realize is a very bad idea. We did get ourselves a nice little tasty balls of steel pill there. We did unfortunately lose two of our free hits, though. But yeah, Deus Custodia is ready for us when we need it. Also, I seem to have a half charge on this active item. What's going on there? Oh, is it because it's like an odd it's an odd number of charges? Okay, you you burn up. You burn up. Oh, we lost Mum's Razor, unfortunately. That's a bit that's a bit sad. I actually quite like Mum's Razor as an item for us to have. Oh, look at that dude getting bullied by the burns there. This active item's actually really good. Right, so we should get a heck of a lot of items in here. Okay, we only get three. I was expecting four. That's fine. Um, I think I'm just happy to um, to take everything here and keep nothing. I don't know. Telepathy for dummies is possibly better. I'm going to take telepathy for dummies. As I, w I was just saying how much I like that burn uh, thing. But honestly, the big turn off for me is it's got quite a long charge for an effect that is good but not really warranting the amount of charge that it takes. I don't even know how good um, Herming is with this, but seemingly it's decent. It, uh, okay, okay, no, the, the, the lasers can curve back around to the enemies. That's, that's decent enough for me. And also, um... Telepathy for Dummies is a two-room charge, too, so... I actually think Telepathy for Dummies is an item that's, that's vastly overlooked. Like, Herming's pretty powerful, and getting Herming once every two rooms, and even if you get something that gives you quicker charges, even more often than that, is extremely powerful. But yeah, we'll probably end up losing Tech L pretty soon here. Ooh, I'm liking that with the knockback shots. But so far, it's, it's good to have... That's our last free hit for this floor. But then again, by, by this point, we've already got enough HP for it to be completely fine. Okay, you do you. Crack that open. We got ourselves a cell heart. Probably shouldn't have opened that up, but look. Little... Wait a minute, then. Are they jobs? They don't look like jobs. Hey, her. Let's just say that they are. We got pin now, which I love... Oh, no, not pin. Why would I think it was pin? Also... Thank you, Frail, for making me bomb myself there. That was a lot of fun. I was really hoping it would uh, blow him up, but apparently didn't feel like it. My mini Isaacs moved my bomb. Okay, I'm just going to stop using bombs on this guy now, because it's clearly not working out for me. Okay, this is the easy brimstone good. Careful of the split shots. Good, good. Unfortunately, nothing amazing here either. 
And we got the Fool card. We'll, we'll, we'll bring it along with us. But yeah, it's kind of interesting to get Damocles on a run like this. I think it's uh, it's got potential. Obviously, there's a, a just as likely potential. It did remove Damocles. No. Don't like that. <laughs> I want Damocles. My impending doom needs to stay. I I genuinely thought that because I've already used the item, it couldn't remove it. Do you know? Because like, it's no longer in my inventory or anything. Like, it's just over my head. But apparently it can. But I don't I don't like that. I wanna I wanna have my impending doom hanging above my head at all times. Like. I genuinely would have just used Deus Custodia on it if I'd have known that, that that's the way it worked. Also, who made this room? I know this is a vanilla room, but god damn, it's evil. Evil. But yeah, I want my impending doom swinging above my head at all time. I'm sorry, but that's part and parcel for this run now. We're just going to pretend... Wait a minute. I'm just going to pop um, Deus Custodia on like a random shit tier item. So that we can pretend we popped it on Damocles. Because I, I genuinely would have popped it on Damocles had I have known the way that it works. And so any of y'all are like, this is cheating, Turtle. It might be it might well be, but it's cheating to hang impending doom above my head. I think it's okay. Also, as I've said many times before, I play this game in the way that I find fun. Sometimes that involves giving myself stuff with a console. I'm not just going to start a run and give myself Godhead. But if I feel it's just, I will use the console. Especially when I feel I've been wronged by mods. <laughs> uh, let's go find our item room. We've not been particularly wronged. I just, I had a incorrect information on how the game processed D Damocles. Because it was an active item that becomes an effect i thought it could only remove the active if it was still in my inventory not remove the effect itself even though that doesn't make a lot of sense because as you can see damocles very clearly does end up in your inventory so that logic is a little flawed i'll admit but it's my logic and i'm sticking with it why would i open that that was such a bad idea okay we're, we're actually gonna get hit now the fire's doing a real good job for us by the way I'm liking the fire. I love big rooms like this with telepathy dummies because it's literally a free use. Like There is no harm in using it at all because we guaranteed get the charge back. It's pretty great. We got ourselves another key here, which I feel is pretty necessary. I don't know where the hell our item room is. It's hella far away from the boss. I know that for a fact. Yeah, no thanks, guys. Ooh, extra bomb as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Right, what we got going on here? Ooh, okay. Um, I think Parasite is a, a Deus Custodia item that we'll grab. Tech Point Five is also really good. Sibling Rivalry is also really good. Some interesting stuff here. But Parasite... Oh, it works with tech as well. This is pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. But yeah, I'm going to try and use Deus Custodia on some random shit tier items that I don't actually care about. Just to try and make it so I've actually got the appropriate amount of broken hearts. Because right now I'm kind of one off where I should be. Hey, it's the Fallen. Well, with Herming, this is pretty interesting. I'm liking this. <laughs> ah! I don't know if it's like a console command. Brimstone? The fuck? Um. Okay. Well, I would like a battery charge, like, right now. Uh. Well, there we go, people. That was like the quickest Damocles fall I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's run that back. <laughs> I'm like, cool, yeah. I'll just give myself Damocles back and 
We'll, we'll plan all this. Ooh, Brimstone. Ooh, very interesting run. Instantly fucking dies. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You see? You see? Like, I, I literally cheated myself to my own death. Is that Compound Fracture? I think it is. I will be keeping that, thank you. And Shoop. Oh, boy. I like that. Compound Fracture is one of my favourite items in the game, so very happy to have that. And honestly, I'm I'm not so mad about losing the other run now. Like, it's a little bit of a shame, but honestly, now that we've got something good going on, on this run with the, the first item room, it's not terrible. Ooh, also, the Golden Crying Pebble. Cry for me, Pebble. Do it. Gotta say, I love these resprites of the uh, of the enemies in this uh, in this mo um, mod pack. Really, a single penny? More, almost. Not not quite a kill, but we got close. That 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 bomb was uh, a bit too close for comfort there. So I think this is Foul Gut, and obviously Pageant Boy. Foul Gut's an incredibly good pickup for us right now. As you can see, it's put our health to a from a pretty terrible place to an incredibly good place. Start a deck there as well. God damn, I play this game too much. I know the items instantly by their outline. Sad. <laughs> sad, sad man. But also, I love this game, so it's fine. But yeah, we've uh, we've put ourselves in a really good position with Foul Gut here. Ha ha! You've removed Foul Gut, but I don't care. Although you did remove Shoot the Woop, which I... What the... F Stop making runes like this. <laughs> this is bullshit. Um, removing Shoop the Whoop is a bit sad, but you removed Foul Gut, which literally does nothing. Like, I've already gained all of the effects of Foul Gut, so... Swivel on it, game. Swivel on it. You killed me once, but you shall not again. I do find it hilarious. That <laughs> I insisted on giving myself back Damocles, and it literally killed me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, I think both of these are just instant pickups, right? Ringworm. I don't think so, Ringworm. Y you're kind of cute. I, I like what you're doing, but also, no, I don't. I think. I mean, Ringworm with Compound Fracture is kind of interesting, I suppose, but I think Ringworm's one of the worms that's like. Apart from a Roboros worm, whatever it's called, uh, it's, it's one of the worms that I'm almost never going to take because it makes it virtually impossible to actually aim. Like, a lot of the other worms, they're wacky, they're weird, but you can still shoot generally in the direction you want to shoot in. With that one, it's very difficult. Oh, this chain reaction is beautiful. Oh, God, you managed to get right on top of my head there. I'm loving Foul Gut giving us this many... Uh, this many rotten hearts, by the way. The fly army we have is is very strong. Wow, you are you are spewing them out, aren't you, boy? Spewing them out. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think either of these are worth days considering, even though one of them is a damage up. We got a health up pill from that boy, oy, oy. Ooh, most definitely days custodia that. And I'll also take flyboy as well. Flyboy's pretty good. Um. If we manage to keep it. Like, if we don't if we don't manage to keep Flyboy, Flyboy's actually a pretty bad pickup. Um, just because it gets better the longer, the more flaws you progress with it. So if it gets removed now, it's a terrible pickup. Um, do you know what? That has to be one of the best results I've ever seen. But yeah, now we got Incubus, which with Compound Fracture is pretty awesome. We've managed to get two kind of similar runs, really. We've got a lot of splitting shots. Despite them being completely different runs, but I'm uh, I'm down for it. Got compound fracture runs are always, always because of my hat. God damn, I I genuinely am gonna uninstall the dumpy mod after this uh, after this run. I I have come to the conclusion finally. I just don't like it. They're just not fun enemies. The room designs are bizarre. Props to whoever made it, and props to people that do like the dumpies. But they ain't for me. They ain't for me. And I apologise if you will miss them profusely. But I will most certainly not. But yeah, with this with this current Rotten Heart setup we got going on, 
Especially the more damage we get, we're going to be pretty much sitting pretty here. Um, so I, I'm not too worried at all. Especially with the amount of damage we're outputting right now. Flyboy's going to keep increasing our damage the longer we keep it too, which is even better. Um, unfortunately, nothing amazing here. But Blood, Bag, uh, Blood Bomb sorry, does give us a HP up. I always forget about that. But unfortunately, doesn't actually give us any bombs, which is probably the, the part of it that I'd enjoy more. Soul heart there, beautiful. I'm just going to have a beeline the boss now. I do, how, I do, however, really like these enemies. They can be a little jank and a little weird. Like, I don't really see how an enemy that's poking its head out of the ground, out of a hole in the ground, can can dash towards you like that. doesn't make a, a hell of a lot of sense. But they're, they're, they're pretty interesting design-wise, so I'll give him a pass. I know he's going to destroy it anyways, but I'd rather just... Use that and ah, ha, 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 you idiot! You swiped an actual bomb rock. That was profoundly stupid. Idiota! Also, the blood bomb, their uh, blood blasts way longer than I thought it would. So it was actually considerably quite useful during the fight. Uh, cat and nine tails and this. I really wish I'd have gotten an extra charge before heading into this um, devil deal, but. Here's what it is. Oh, it doesn't matter anyways. I will, however, open this. Ooh, Flip is definitely a Deus Custodia item. Uh, I 100% I quite love that. Flip is going to allow us to um, essentially get rerolls pretty often. Um, just don't remove it from us. Oh, wait, I can't. I Deus Custodia'd it. I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid. I'm a big stupid. Okay, I've got some hollow pins. That's fine by me. But yeah, we, we've, we've, we've entered a state of, of, of sort of normality where we're, we're going to be pretty pretty chill for the rest of the run, I think. There's, I don't think there's much the game that, that, that uh, the game could throw at us that's really going to throw us off. Oh, I planted my bomb and then the bloody mod removed it. I keep forgetting that's a thing. I know that there's not really a way to avoid that, but I really wish that didn't happen. It's very annoying. Oh, uh, hello. Goddamn, someone re-added those terrible enemies back in from the April Fool's thing. Although, maybe it's just because it was April Fool's yesterday when I'm recording this. By the way, I apologise to any of you that sorely missed the Isaac series on the day of April Fool's. I, of course, uploaded the tried and true series, Secret of the Magic Crystal. It is a tradition of the channel that every April Fool's I upload that game. And I apologise to people that profoundly missed the Binding of Isaac on that day. But it had to be done. It simply had to be done. There was no way around it. Anyways, let's go back and find our item room. Because I, I think Flip only works outside of the boss room, right? It doesn't work in the boss room. No thank you on that room. Pretty interesting room, but I don't think it's for me. Right, where was what was over there? It's a haunted chest, nice, okay. Throw that bad boy at me. Throw it at me, bad boys. Ah, ah! This is another enemy that I've always despised, but luckily it's dead now. Grab a few of those pennies. God damn, we keep being like so unbelievably far away from our item room. I don't know what it, what it is today, but our item rooms are uh, always at the far end of the map. Just get ourselves a counterfeit penny there. Whereabouts are you popping up? Got him? Oh, damn, he split. Okay, he was that champion version that can split, I see. Well, them, them, uh, them enemies are pretty meaty, too. They have quite a lot of HP. Quite a lot of HP indeed, but there you go. The final room of the floor. Um, I think I am pretty okay to, uh, to use Flip here. Yeah, Ceiling with the Stars. Pretty nice. Punching bag's decent. Ceiling with the Stars is a pretty good item that I don't think I'd dare to custodia, but, ooh, actually, actually, it gives you um, Lemmageddon with when you sleep in a bed, 
Therefore, we should definitely bomb in here. Despite not having a third bomb, which was the main reason I didn't enter. We can now, uh... Sleep in the bed? Is there a reason I cannot sleep in this bed? Was picking up technology a mistake? Can technology split from compound fracture? Maybe not. But I didn't dare Custodia it, so we might lose it anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't sleep in that bed. I'm guessing it's because I was at full HP. Maybe? But I, I thought you could still sleep in the even at full HP. But I'm not going to hurt myself for it. I'm, I'm, I'm fine to just go to the next floor. I can never remember. Can, does, compound fracture does not work. Okay. A little bit sad, but completely understandable. And down we go. Down, down, down we go. Down, down, down we go. It took our piece of cheese and our consolation prize. How could you? Oh, God. What? Did you see that dodge? That was incredible. Unprecedented levels of dodge. And again. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm gonna take the crumpled ticket. Crumpled ticket is a weird one. You cannot drop it, uh, which makes it a little saucy and it replaces, I think, all cards and pills. If I remember correctly, it might not be pills, but definitely all cards um, with scratch tickets. But the scratch tickets are pretty fucking insane. They can give you some ridiculously good rewards. Uh, buh, 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 buh. <laughs> yeah, like as you can see, we just can't pick up any of these. Fine by me. A little annoying to get a room full of trinkets after taking a trinket that stops us being able to pick up trinkets. But such is Isaac. Also, they're all going for my uh, my lad in the center there. But yeah, I really like, um, I really like sort of when I thought, when I first thought about and heard about this character, I, I really didn't like the idea, like, at all. Um, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip on this. Flip, and then I'm gonna dare's custodia that. Um, I really didn't like the idea of this character, actually, when I first heard about it. I was like, oh my god, it removes your items, like randomly each floor like that's horrible you can never build an actual run i really disliked the idea behind it but it actually is is very different to how i expected it to play it more so lets you build the run you want and then essentially re-rolls and randomizes everything else about the run so you keep because like as anyone knows by playing uh characters like tainted isaac you only really have like between five and eight core items a run that actually make up the main power of your run. Everything else is either useless, like small stat upgrades that don't matter, or like additional benefits that, that, that add to the power but are not required for the true run. And that's kind of what we got here. I think, obviously we're not using Compound Fracture right now, but Incubus, Flyboy, um... Muramycosis now as well are kind of more integral to the uh, to the run, um, and and we get to keep those, or at least the ones that we've days custodied. I think one of those, um, Flyboy, we didn't days custodia, but you know what I mean. For the most part, you get to keep those items that you actually want to keep, and then the rest of the stuff essentially, while while it's not actually getting rerolled, it's kind of like it is because obviously you're periodically losing, gaining more and more items like you're, you're gaining more items than you normally would but you're also losing a few of those items and it also gives like so much more of a purpose to bad items because like if i get a floor where i just get a bunch of trash and then one really good item like three trash items and one really good item i'm actually pretty happy to have gained the trash items because it means my chances of keeping that good item are higher. I think it's a really interesting, uh, interesting little thing there. Hello, hello. Give me the red item to free my soul. Give me Sacred Heart. Do you know what? I will take Hemolacria. <laughs> oh, I should have fucking... God damn it, because I didn't have a charge ready, I didn't even think about it. I really should have kept that. That is a very good item to keep. If it gets removed from me now, I will genuinely cry just a bit. So, really, what we need this floor 
is a lot of shit items. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take this. And then let's go to our shop and try and grab at least, at least one bad item. Or like, item in general. Just to try and lower our chances of losing Hemolacria. Because I'm an absolute fool. Oh, you, you bastard. You better give me Steam Sale. You little shitter. I'm not going to bother with the uh, Golden Penny. Because we're not going to have uh, many more shops to play at. But yeah, if, if I lose Hemolacria now, my own fault, definitely, but I would I would be distraught. I would I would genuinely cry the largest tears. Listen to my wail if it happens, because I will wail, I promise you. Don't you do it. <gasps> ah! You fucker! This is my whale. This is my siren song. Fuck you, game. What's that about? <laughs> How could you do this to me? You cheated on me when I specifically asked you not to? God damn. I cry a cry that is so truly, truly loud. God damn. I will definitely keep Pentacles, though. Pentacles is a really interesting item for us, actually, because Pentacles gives us a 50% chance to gain a Wisp of the... Uh, Let me get him Wisp of the item that we pick up, which means that if the item gets removed via uh, Deus Custodia, there's a chance that we get a, a Let me get him Wisp of said item and essentially get to keep um, a temporary version of it, which is a pretty interesting uh, little idea there. I can't believe it removed Hemolacria. I, I cry the cry of true sorrow. Like, couldn't you have removed technology? Like, I'd be fine with you removing technology. Don't, don't do it next floor, though. Now that I've said that, don't you dare. Because I, I will wail louder this time and with much more ferocity. Be prepared. I don't actually know um, if it can remove items from, like... So, so, what it does is it removes a percentage of the items that you got on the last floor. But... I, I don't know, so like if I picked up six items, it'd remove three, I think, or, or two. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but what I don't know is, can it only remove items that you received last floor, or can it remove any item that you have? So like, I, because I picked up technology a few floors ago, is technology now pretty much safeguarded? Or because I didn't dare to custodia it, is technology still on the chopping block? I think it is still on the chopping block. I think it still can be removed. Uh, which definitely scares me. Like, I, I'm kind of okay with losing technology because we've got Compound Fracture, but I'd rather not. Like, the items that I don't really want to lose at the minute mainly are just Flyboy. Flyboy would be devastating to lose because we're getting so much damage from it right now, and I doubt we'd keep it if we lost the item. Which would make me cry an even larger cry of sorrow. The Battery Pack. Huzzah. Do you know what? I'm going to buy it because, like, why not? Um, and then because we got that, let's grab that for Bookworm. Okay. Ooh, we should probably grab that. Ooh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Red Rune, baby. Give it to me. I really like the Regret Pedestals mod, you know, the one that, that shows you the item that you lost. You, like, I really like the fact that it still works, even if you can see the item, because it's kind of like, instead of the item just disappearing like it actually does, it's more so like the item fades away slowly, which is kind of an interesting little visual effect. I don't know if that was intended, uh, but it, it, it looks quite nice. I quite like it. Right. Don't you dare remove technology now. I, I'd, I'd be somewhat okay with it, but I still would cry uh, a cry of sorrow, because... As I said, you cheated on me when I specifically asked you not to. Do you know the uh, the little clip of the guy getting punched in the face where he's like, ah, oh, fuck, I can't believe you've done this. That's how I feel right now. I feel punched in the side of the head. That's good. I will definitely take that. That's a that's a hell of a lot of soul hearts. Um, 
I guess we take this. I think we're meant to be going to the beast, but that is, uh, I think that ship has sailed somewhat. Pyro, you say? Um, ooh. Crickets. Ooh. Ooh, wee. This is, uh, this is quite nice. I think I will Deus Custodia that bad boy for a, a stonking big damage up. And you know what? Let's, let's grab Pyro too. Why not? And because we have such good damage, I'm pretty okay to uh, to do this now. Oh, you're trying to attack my child, are you? I wouldn't if I were you. Sadly, no cool champions this time. We got the regular old bosses, them and their stanky selves. I don't know where the mask is. Oh, there he is. Ah, go away, mask. I'm liking uh, Muramycosis with. The laser. In fact, that's why I Deus Custodied it, because I remembered that uh, Muramai Cursus is incredibly good with lasers. It just applies so often. Also, our fire rate is, like, so good. Like, I think I think Incubus is definitely making it feel faster than it is, but it sounds like it's a machine gun right now. Wow, thank you, Blurt. Oh, wait, wait it's not Blurt. It's Sig Monstro 2. The Chad. Sorry, Chad. Who's left? Hello, sir. God, we are destroying right now. There ain't nothing that can be done. Got a soul heart over there. Not that we can pick it up. We're at max HP. Even though we're at half HP, we are at max HP. Sorry, bud. You've been bested. Ooh, this guy needs to die real fast. There you go. He did. Luckily, he abided by my rules and died real quick. Oh, do you see that? I was playing chicken with the scythe there, and it worked out for me. Where are you jumping? Are you trying to jump on my child once more? He is not to be fucked around with. My child is sacred. Stop fucking with my kid. You see, I'm, play I'm playing chicken. Played chicken with a horn again there. I let him get real close, but I was like, nah, I ain't backing down from this fight. Stop it. Angel, if you fuck my kid, I will clip your wings. You saucy boy. What up, little horn? Little horn? Uh, no, it's not little horn. That's little Loki. I'm dumb. Okay, I was just about to say, we got to be close to the last wave now. Unfortunately, these are pretty trashy. So, we'll just take our leave. Head on down. It's a little sad to leave so many hearts behind, especially when we're not technically at full HP, but we also have no space, so. Not much that can be done. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh lord. What are you doing to me, game? I will punch you in the dick, Edmund. Or kill Burn. Which, whichever one. What the hell? What the heck is even that? We're firing like fly tears now? Oh, this is. Okay, do you know what? Fuck. Fuck the old, um. The old technology laser beam. We've got something better. We've got flyboy stuff. I'm a motherfucking flyboy. It, it. I like it. I love it. I want some more. Oh my god, looking at our champions there. That is truly terrifying. Wait, so cr does Crumpled Ticket not replace cards? I thought it did. Whoa, what the hell? Um, Something ain't... Ain't right about that room. But Bobby, you speak English. I don't know why. I don't know why that reminded me of that. But I don't even watch King of the Hill. But I, I and I definitely need to. But there's a there's a clip from that that always makes me laugh, where it's like, Dad, I failed at English, and it's like, but Bobby, you speak English. <laughs> there's so many like quotable lines from that show, even though I haven't watched it. Like um, 
when uh, Hank, he's, I think Hank's trying to like make a website or something. I don't know exactly what he's trying to do, but oh my lord, what is going on with these flies? Um, he's like trying to do something online. Oh, we lost our fly boys. What the hell? Where would our fly boys go? Excuse me. Um, yeah, he's trying to like make a website or something, and he's like trying to get a picture of a hot dog, and um, <laughs> someone says just get a JPEG, and it's like, do I know what I if do I do I look like I know what a JPEG is? <laughs> and me and my girlfriend say that to each other all the time. I probably should have left the health back there, but, you know. Ooh, baby. We need to go deeper with the buff. Oh, with the with the buff. Hmm. Yes. We need to go deeper with the buff. Let's let's go back and quickly get our crawl space. You've got to use it on a decorative piece, which I think this counts as decorative piece, but I want something a little more distinct, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that counts as a decorative piece. Um, let's give it a go. Yeah, there you go. Crawl space. Guaranteed crawl space if used on decoratives. Also, wow, this looks uh, intriguing. I did not know Crawl Space has got a visual overhaul in different floors. I don't know what mod does that, but I will take it. Right, let's go. I know that trading flip, flip for we need to go deeper is a bizarre choice, but honestly, it's not that bizarre. Because flip is only useful in Devil and Angel deals now, because we only, like, it doesn't work in boss rooms, and we mainly get our items from boss rooms now. Um, oh, you removed the corrupted heart thing too. You... Little ragamuffins. Got an item. Ooh, Cracker Jacks. And we got another item here. Host Hat. Hello. Host Hat plus Pyro is a, an interesting prospect. I, do you know what? I'm like, we only get our items in boss rooms. And then I walk into one room and get four items. I wish I could pick up this trinket. Greed's Heart's a ridiculously good trinket. We're cruising on this run, nonetheless. Like, I'm complaining, but we're cruising. We do be cruising. Um, I'm looking for decoratives at the minute. I'm not really seeing anything that stands out to me as a decorative. This floor's a little difficult for that. Because it's like, is this here a decorative? It is. Okay, that works. Down we go. Oh, we got flight. What am I doing? I'm, I'm like going around this the wrong way completely. Cube of rot. Super meat fan. I like it. SMB super fan. Some really good stuff there. I, I think we're past our days of Deus Custodia anyways, so I'm not really worrying about that anymore. Like, ooh, I will take that. It's a fucking doubled bad trip. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, like, with the amount of broken hearts we have right now, I think, um, we don't really want to use Deus Custodia anymore at all. I also think we've kind of defined our build now. Like, we've got the items we need. We're good to go. We're set, we're set to sail. Perfection, you say? Wish I could pick that up. Gamble? Gamble. Betrayal. I um, turned it into a wisp really quickly, into a lemmigate and fly, sorry, really quickly. We're going dark room. We genuinely could die on this um, on this old this old Galliver run. Like, I'm not super confident. Pyra, you removed Pyra. I was relying on Pyra. I was like, okay, cool. If I start getting hit, then I've got Pyra to back me up. And you take it away from me? How dare you? Oh god, we got guillotine at some point. We have so many wisps hovering around us right now. Uh, decorative pieces. That's a decorative piece, right? That didn't- Oh, it does- you, you can't use this item on this floor. I was like, that's a decorative piece. Don't lie to me. Then I realized you can't use- we need to go deeper on this floor anyways. Doesn't work. Which is a little sad because it means it's more limited use, but there you go. Whatever. Hello, room. Thank you greatly. 
That is uh, my bien very spicy for me right there. If we can fill those up, I'll be uh, eternally grateful. What was chasing me there? Was that a... Oh, that was a... I was like, that was a troll bomb, right? I just never saw it spawn in, so I wasn't actually sure. Right. Let's keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Oh my god, I'm just going the wrong way constantly. Do you know what? Nah. That room's not even going to take that long, but I can't be asked. Yeah, I went entirely the wrong way here. But yeah, Pentacles has ended up helping us out quite a lot. We managed to get two Super Meat Boys, I think, in there. What's with me going the wrong way all the time? Piss me off. I'd, I'd maybe go for a full room reroll here. Sadly, there isn't one. That is depressing. Thank you. My scratcher gave me a scratcher that gave me a loft. That that is that is essentially the real life experience of playing scratchers. Also, this is another question. Does anyone out there play scratchers? Like, I mean. I apologize to pass judgment, but if you do, stop. <laughs> it's like the worst waste of money in the entire world. I remember I've, I've only ever bought one in my life. Only ever bought one. And it was literally for the sole reason of... I am now old enough to buy them. Like, it was, like, on my 18th birthday, I went and bought one. I don't know why, but that's, like, it's, it's not... I wouldn't say it's a rite of passage, but it's, like, it's a thing that you do, or, or, or at least they did it, people did it in my city. That was, like, a, a common thing to, like, on your, on your 18th birthday, go out and buy some booze and a scratcher. Even though, like I said, I, I'd never actually buy scratchers ever again. I don't care about them at all. Also, I have a I have a very uh, addictive personality to uh, to gambling, as has been shown in Isaac many a time. So I don't trust myself to get anywhere near anything remotely re uh, remotely close to real gambling. I am scared for my own safety. Oh, really? Can't see any of the items? Are you kidding me? That's a bummer. I, I basically can't take any of those now. We're actually in a much, much better uh, position than I thought we'd be at this point in the run. Like, health is a lot better than I thought it'd be, actually. Um, damage is, is, is absolutely rocking. I, I honestly think our entire damage source, really, came from Cricket's head um, and... Bomb, go away. Uh, came from Cricket's head and Flyboy, because Flyboy gives us, like, damage every floor. It actually gives an absurd amount of damage, Flyboy. I think we'd have, like, six damage right now if it wasn't for... It, like, not six. Probably, like, seven or eight um, if it wasn't for Flyboy. We're up to, like, a lot more than that now. I am getting hit quite a lot, I will say, but... That's neither here nor there. Right. You are bested too. I'm, uh, I'm planning on doing quite a lot of Isaac recordings today, just because after COVID, my backlog got a bit weak. Hey, watermelon. I'll keep the watermelon. Um, my backlog got a little weak, and I'm, I'm looking to... Uh, ooh, although, although, although. Let's just quickly dig up a corpse. Digging up graves is fun. Oh, nice. We got the... Uh, we got the old... The old flamethrower. I like the flamethrower. Scratch me. Scratch me, baby. The flamethrower. Oh my lord. That's a lot of flames. I love this item. It's so cool. Let's get some Sinister Chalk going. Probably not healthy to stand there for that long, but there you go. God damn, the purple fires. They kind of destroy FPS a little bit, but I don't think that's the fault of the mod. I think that's more the fault of the run that I'm on right now. Also, god damn going the wrong way in this game. It's just devastating. It happens all the time. 
It never stops. Watermelon time. Oh my lord, that's a lot of seeds. I'm absolutely spewing seeds. I'm guessing it's this way because we've had a few rooms revealed here. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, this, this is... Okay. I'm kind of noticing, actually, these these rooms with the big EE -E dudes, especially in the late floors, I've now noticed quite a few rooms that have a ridiculous amount of health in them. And I'm not sure why. Like, that room had a bunch of red hearts and a tail heart. We got the room earlier that had four broken hearts that was a room from that same mod. And then in a few other episodes, I've had rooms that have had, like, a bunch of soul hearts and stuff in them. I'm not sure why, because the enemies are definitely not hard enough to warrant that amount of HP. And they're not rare enough either. Like, I've seen quite a few of these these uh, really high HP rooms. It seems bizarre. Also, we have literally gone every single wrong way possible. I realize I, I probably should have just looked at where the second secret room was and gone this way to start with, but what's done is done, I guess. Oh, I love the way this room looks. It is genuinely incredible. Also, get watermeloned. Evil Eye is, is trashing this guy right now. No thank you on the victory lap. We're going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Very, very fun run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.